Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Good afternoon. Right, my name is Daniel, as you all know, Daniel Sink, and this is uh, the, the, the show um, called Through My Lens, The Daniel Sink Show. And, you know, coming to you live from London. Uh, London is a little warm today, you know, uh, not so cold. So, we're here. Um, thank you so much to everybody that watched it last week. Um, it was amazing, the response was good. And, you know, to be honest, that was the first one, and it, was, it, it went very well. So thank you, people. Okay, so today, we are here. And, you know, as, we, as the name of the, of the show says, Through My Lens. So what I do is I interview the people that are taking their pictures. You know, as you all know, as a celebrity photographer, the paparazzi, I have taken quite a lot of pictures. I've worked with, I've worked with a lot of people. All glory be to God. And... Now, today, I have with me one of Nollywood's, you know, uh, uh, I, can, I, I don't even know how to describe him, because, you know, when I, when I saw him today, I was like, wow, he's actually here. So I have a very good Nollywood actor here, he's very talented, you know, and uh, when I actually met him, I felt, wow, this man is so humble. Now, today, I have with me the one and only Nollywood actor, Yemi Black. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you very much. It's so nice to be here. Yeah, it's amazing to be here. You know, I've also heard a lot about you and the work that you do, and so being able to meet you in person and match the capability, the the ability, and the humility that you encapsulate, you know what I mean, is really nice. So it's wow. so amazing to be here today. Wow. And, uh, <laughs> Thank you so much. I would honestly to hear that from you. And I'm just meeting you for the first time. And, you know, I just have to say, oh, glory be to God. You know, they, they say a man's reputation uh, precedes him. Uh, and a lot of times, that's what we know. That's what our people say. Or they just want to work for like a good name rather than silver and gold, you know. So when you do things the right way, it just goes out. And people feel that. And it, it precedes you anyway. I say, yeah, so you've done it wrong. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, so much. you know, <laughs> when you came up, and I saw you, I was thinking, when I saw the face, I said, yeah, hey, and I look at you, you're so tall. <laughs> and I was like, I thought I was tall. I, I, thought, I yeah. thought I was tall. Yeah. You know. Um, I get that a lot, actually. A lot of people meet me and they don't know that I am as tall as I am. So I, I think the TV does something to make me a bit smaller than I really do appear in life. So I met her. I mean, I, I was at the pool some time in Lagos at the airport hotel. And I met this lady, and she didn't even say hello. The friend said, oh, "Oga, that's what he does." No, no, that that's good. That's you good. know, I'm going to ask you the very first question. When did you start acting? I started acting in my primary school. Um, uh, there was a school play, The Incorruptible Judge, and um, I was um, an executive worker of sorts. sorts. And then later on, I just loved it. That that you know, just being able to go there and do something on the stage and pretend to be someone else, mm. I loved it. And so in my secondary school, I was uh, in Form 1, I was the captain of the school drama team, you know, because I was, you know, very interested. I used to go all the time. And so over the years, that's culminated in my love, because I've always loved arts, writing, singing, you know, composing, the whole works. And so that just pushed me on. So I studied theatre arts and here I am, ended up being an actor, so hey, no surprises. <laughs> wow, I want to say this, eh? even the way you speak, and I'm like, is this man, it's more like, are you working for, <laughs> well, don't let me say Donald Trump. Yeah. Let me say, did you work for Obama, did you, the way you speak, yeah. you, you know, the, your diction, your, you know, the tone, and I'm, so, and I'm like, this man, you know, you, 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 you're not just a typical actor. You can I can tell that you actually studied this. I can tell that you went to school for this, yeah, and the way you carry yourself, um, it's amazing. I I, I, I really like it. Thank you. I, I mean, appreciate that. Sometimes I'm like, okay, what should I say? Because when you speak, your English is like wow. <laughs> so you know, but that that's very good. So what? Thank you so much. What was your first film? My first movie ever, um, professionally as an actor, uh, was uh, the Unseen Eye. That must have been, two th I think, 2003. You know, that was the first time that I just thought I was going to do this. I mm -hmm. went for an audition. And 
fortunately for me, when I got to the audition ground, um, Obil Sotoli, I think, called me a certain name. And I told him, no, that's not my name. And he laughed at me. Then he called another person. I said, who's that guy? And then they called the same name as he called him. Like, how are you guys calling me Shevon? I'm not Shevon. You're so Shevon. <laughs> then they sh when I gave him the script and I read it, I understood where they're coming from. I looked like the characters described in the script. So I got it. I think it must have been about four or five scenes. I shot it afterwards. I shot uh, another one. I uh, can't remember exactly about that one. And afterwards, I just said, okay, I'm going to do this professionally. And that's mm -hmm. when I went. I got my alien membership card and I started doing it. Wow, amazing. So, okay, I'm going to try and ask you, I, mean, I think you've answered it, but there's, I'm trying to bring out a point, but there's a point I want to bring out here. Did you plan to be an actor? Yeah. You plan Always. It's um, not some things that I dabbled into. I, since I was young, I always liked entertaining people. I always liked, you know, just that reenactment. So my friends will tell me a story and ask me to tell the rest of the time. And I tell them, my guy, it's your story. Why don't you tell it? They say, no, when you tell the stories, they always sound better. You know what I mean? So, you know, and every time I told the story, I would elaborate it a bit more, I would act out the characters, you know, flesh it out and make it interesting. And when I went to school, I realized that that was how the theater started. Wow. So uh, the storytellers who would tell their stories, and over time, they started taking off the voices of the character. But over time, they started taking off the characters of the story, uh, in the story. Mm -hmm. And over time, they thought, okay, you know what? Why don't a bunch of storytellers come together? So as opposed to me playing the lion, me playing the tortoise, me playing, how about I play the lion because I have this voice, and you play this because you have that voice, and you play this, and that's how it all started. So it's a process that I also found out about myself because that is how my evolution as an actor started. Amazing. Please don't play the lion now. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's well, I'm thinking about it. Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Um, you know, you said something just now that since when you were in primary school, so it's, it means that something was already in you, right? Well, the gift of the man shall make way for him and place him before kings, that's what the good book says. And so I guess that when you're gifted in a certain way, you just can't hide it, you know, because I've, like I said, I've always loved writing. Um, in secondary school, I always used to love um, uh, essays, you know. And I always used to take the, the, the ones that, not, I didn't like letter writing per se, I used to like the ones that, that needed you to create a story. Okay. So sometimes, way back in the day, they would say, I wish somebody, they would say, write um, uh, a, 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 a story that ends with the word, I wish I'd never done that. Or I wish I hadn't, you know, something of the sort. So I would always flip, and I'll, because I used to read a lot, I would always try to take my teachers to places that I thought, even they might never have been before. So I would make up a story about ancient Egypt, make sure it's a story about medieval England, you know what I mean? Just something different. Wow. And so those things, over the years, have shaped me. You know what I mean? You, you're going through a process that God is taking you through, and you don't know, you know, but God is infinitely wiser than all of us and infinitely more intelligent than all of us. So he puts you through those spaces, and you don't know what's going on. But then eventually, when you end up in the space that you're supposed to be, then you realize how everything has contributed to the person that you are at the moment. Wow. Mm. You know, the fact that you mentioned God, I love that. Because I, I, God, God, is, God always, even before we he made. created us, mm. he, he knew us. us. Yeah. He knew us from the beginning to the end. Yeah. You know, it is more or less that God goes to the end and walks backwards. You know, so it's amazing, and I, I, I like the fact that you, you, you bring God into this picture. Okay, so, well, I'm going to, there's some question I'm going to ask you now, you know. It's, you know, you're, we're just having fun, yeah, we're just talking. Talk right, mm -hmm. so, how, you know, you're, you're handsome, you're tall, and I wonder, what kind of response, what kind of, you know, what do you, all these women, you know, do you get any, do you get, I, I you know, know. rushed? I, I tell people that um, if you put a goat on television, I mean a he goat on television, and it goes one movie, two movies, three movies, there'll probably be people who call up the goat and say, hey, how are you doing? Absolutely. So anyone who gets adulation by virtue of what they do yeah. and lets, they let that get to their head, I think they need help. Because the truth of the matter is, it's never about you, it's about the gift 
that we kept this time of year. Mm -hmm. And that gives us a responsibility. So the responsibility you have to yourself is not to run for women and try to mask yeah. every as much as possible. Yeah. It's also understanding that sometimes it will come up and they talk to women at home because they want a piece of whatever it is they think they see. But they are also misguided sometimes. You realize, no, it's not about me. You know what I mean? You don't know me. So how could you like me when you don't know me? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean, right? Mm -hmm. You see my talent and you like my talent. But to know me, you need to know me. Fantastic. You know what I mean? Yeah. Fantastic. I love that. Guys, I hope you are learning. Mm -hmm. You cannot get this kind of information from any university in this world. Right? right. So yeah. you've got to learn from people like him, you know. So what has been your best role so far? Well, best role so far has just been the fact that I've been on the team to work in the field of Nigeria. Um, there, there are no small roles, only small actors. And that's something we taught in the school. When I taught us, we didn't understand it. But as time went on, we began to realize that it's true. So for me, every role that I play gives me an opportunity mm. to be different. Yeah. I'm not the same. It's, not, it's never Yemi Black. It's always Shedden, Dayo, Pyros, you know, Mustafa, someone who's totally different from the real me. So for me, I take those challenges. It seems like, oh no, it's not, well, some may be, yeah, some may be challenging, more challenging than others. But the truth is, every time you pick up a script, you're taking a walk from your real self. Mm. And it is not an easy task. Amazing, mm. amazing. Wow. You know what, even me, I'm sitting down here, and I'm thinking, you know, I'm learning a lot from you. Um, thank you so much for sharing. Are you in Yes, it does. <laughs> okay, so guys, as you know, it's called Through My Lens, the mm. Daniel Sink Show. So obviously, I've not taken any picture of uh, uh, Mr. Yemi Black here. So I thought, okay, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? So today, we got some pictures. So I said, okay, let's just go on the street. Let's do some shots in London, you know, those paparazzi things. Um, so I guess the pictures are ready now. So we can we please have the first picture of Yemi Black in London. Wow, here we go. As you can see, you know, we just did this about now I go. So so that's our Miss our Miss Ayemi class looking cool, you know, the glasses, you know, the shirt. I mean, did someone style you to this? Did you ever yeah, it's style the funny you? thing is coming to London, I was um I I, I was supposed to come down here uh, on, on Monday and uh, I'd left my visa till too long. Because um, you know, I just thought uh, I didn't have any business in London, it's like mm -hmm. that. So when I got the call, I thought it was great. I put in for it. I put in for the um, for the uh, speeding up process, which is the fast lane for five days. And so um, five days gone, six days gone, no response from the embassy. About nine days later, I get a, I get an email from the UK saying that the process had been concluded which means that they would fetch the passports mm -hmm. back to Lagos and I would get to you know, be able to make plans. Unfortunately, they didn't come. So I had to go through all the quarantine. Long story short, I got um, my passport back on a Friday to travel on a Monday. Wow. And on that Friday, I drove from the embassy to set. Wow. I worked till Sunday. I worked till Monday morning. I left wow. set at 4.30, got home at about 6 o'clock. And I had a ten o'clock flight. Wow! So wow. I went to home, grabbed a few things, stuffed them in the box, right in the back, and I moved to the airport. <laughs> so know. today, when we talk about the interview, I went in the box and started checking. Okay, give me one. Wow! Yeah, wow! So I mean, just a mixed match, but I like the way that it turned out. You know yeah. what I mean, right? And then I like the fact that I called it Raja yes. Joka. So it's almost like you tell, you're sending a memo, like yeah. hey, let's let's rhyme. Yeah, <laughs> you know that, that that's cool. Thank God you didn't grab the wrong thing. You know, right? That's gonna be a in the short and the thing left. <laughs> he backed off with the box back. Well, we would have still made it work. We would have rocked it like that. <laughs> so, know. guys, let's have the next picture now, please. Da 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 da. Next picture. Okay, there's still manufacturing oh, in here. Oh, nice. Well, and by the way, Mr. Amy Black is just seeing these pictures, just yeah. as you are seeing it for the oh, first nice, time. Nice, nice. You like that? I like it. Not bad at all. 
Is that what you have to say? Yeah, it's tough. But I mean, the photographer's talented, man. It's yeah. definitely, you know what I mean, right? And um, uh, what, what is that man for? <laughs> bad man, <a> bad man. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> okay, so let's have the next picture. Let's roll through this here. Let's, you know. Mm. So I'm trying to change to Superman here. So I'm just lo looking for people, you know, from Clark Kent to Superman. I'm waiting for the space. <laughs> oh, that's nice. I like the fact that you're standing next to the, yeah, to the, the, yeah. to the iconic T London telephone box. Yeah, telephone that's box. it. Yeah? If everyone looks away, just go in there, take off my glasses. <laughs> Superman gang. Yeah. 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 What? Well, if, if you do that, I'm going to be on my bike to Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Is there any other picture? Can we have the next one? Right, another one similar to the last one, but this is what you call, see, see, let me explain something to the viewers quickly. Right, the, the last two or three pictures, he was posing, you know, doing that, you know, it's leaning against the box. Now, this is what you call a paparazzi shot, mm. because he's working, it's, you know, it's an action. Mm. And that's, this is how I was trained, you know, to take action shots. Mm. And I think, if you're going to give this picture now, uh, 10 being the highest, 1 being the lowest, what would you give it? I'll give it an easy 8.5. Oh, 8.5? I need to go to the bank tomorrow for yeah. that. <laughs> yes, you need, to, take, that you need to, to, take, to take that to the bank. You need to take that to the bank. Which bro. bank? Uh -huh. Not Central Bank of Nigeria. Um, no, no. <laughs> we'll, we'll try um, a Monile Bank of uh, Tequilene, but I'm just <laughs> much <of it>. <laughs> 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 All right, so I guess that's the, like, that's, those are the pictures. Now, so, oh, there's still more. I like that. Uh, I like that. I didn't even know you took that one. Yeah, I did. That's why they yeah. call me Papa Wiley. Nice. I was just thinking of uh, uh, swinging a golf ball and, uh, uh, and that's it. Wow. All right. Nice. <laughs> so, you know. Okay, great, great. Pictures are nice. I like them. That's all right. Yeah, that's all right. Great. So, obviously, inside me. Oh. Nice. Another one. That's the one you got when, oh, yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. It turned out really well. I like Fantastic. Yeah, I'm telling them. Fantastic. Yeah. So, well, obviously, Mr. Amy Black Martel, we're going to post these pictures online later definitely, on. You can, you can retweet it. You yes, can re like the, Instagram it. Yes, so you can like it do or it. like and like it. Get <laughs> yeah, your enemy to like and like, like it. Yes. Okay, so, Mr. Amy Black, yes, this, this part now, we're going to stand up. Yes. You know, a lot of people don't understand what photographers have to go through. Hmm in order to take pictures of celebrities and public figures and not just take the pictures and put it out there. You know, because I believe that photography plays a key role in celebrities' lives. Yes, of course. It, 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 you know, all the bloggers live on it. Right. So we have to go through a lot. So today, you're going to be my photographer. Great. Okay. Right. So let's do it. Let's switch roles. Right. We switch roles. Should I, so should I bend down like this? Don't bend down yourself. Okay. Don't bend down. Yeah, just stand. Okay, very good, very good. Right. Uh huh. Okay. Ah, perfect. Okay, but the thing is, uh, so you just turn yourself to that side. Yeah? <laughs> and then like the other side, the other side. No, no, the, like no, no, that, no, no, please, please. Oh God, all these actors. Yeah, like so this. No, no, the other side. Thank you. Okay. Hey, that's it. That's it. God bless you. And hold on, please. Ah, nice, nice, nice. Good. Uh -huh, nice. Good. Now, okay. okay. Do another one where your um your hands are in your pocket. Right. Exactly. Put the hand in the pocket. Yeah. That's it. Now straight straighten the pop the other pocket out. That's okay. Exactly. This one. Okay. Yeah, straighten it out. That's okay. it. Uh -huh. That's Better? it. Great, great, great. Yeah. yeah. Good. Relax like that. Then turn the, the, the hat. The, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. covering one eye. Covering the uh, the, the left eye. Like That's it. Yeah. Nice, nice. Nice. Hold on, please. Uh, yes. Uh, Yes. Good. Yeah, but uh, hold on, I need another closer one. Great. Yes. Oh, you're looking fantastic. Really nice. fantastic. Oh, go see now. Uh, see, we meet up Wow. Nice. So, I'm gonna now review these pictures. Mm. Wow, I'm liking what I'm seeing already. See? <laughs> well. Yeah. Well. 
Mm-hmm. Is you know, I mean, hey, I'm bad, I'm bad like that. Yeah, I'm very bad, bad like that. that. Better than Michael Jackson. Okay. <laughs> so, well, I must say, I wish you guys can see this right. right now, but you can't see it. We'll show them later. We'll, we'll show, show you later. later. Oh, we'll you know what? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. See, not bad. Yeah. Well, you the did the lighting. That. Yeah, it was the lighting actually did me at some point because I saw back lighting, a back lighting. So if we had mi- mix it around a bit, plus we would have got some nice shots. You know what? You try. You yeah. actually try. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, you try. No, no. I give you. Thank you. Out, out of ten, I'll give you five. Yes. And I'll tell you. And that works for me. <laughs> Coming from a professional who knows his audience, five at the first try. Trust me, good, I'm good, good to go. No, don't, don't come and take my job now. Yeah. <laughs> no, you don't be safe. You, don't you, be safe. you know, you know, you did well. The only thing, you didn't. There's some pictures you took. It could, it, it would have been better in portrait. Oh, great. Yeah. Great. Okay. I've actually thought about it, but now that I know, see, yeah. that's what happens with experience. Yeah. So guys, that's the truth of life. You may be so intelligent, you may be so smart and quick with it, but experience always plays an important part of the learning process. So listen to your elders, listen to their wisdom. That is something that you can never, never benefit enough from. So Amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. So, you are in London. Yeah. Fantastic. Um, Working on? Yeah, working on a project at the moment uh, with uh, me, the director, uh, Kule Toimo. You know, um, so it's a project uh, uh, initially entitled uh, Excess Luggage. Uh, they're trying to change the title now. Um, uh, it's, I'm really excited about it because the story is really different from the regular. It's really amazing. It's, um, it's a family story that goes into the cause of what's happening in the UK at the moment with children losing focus and losing, um, you know, losing uh, a sight of their heritage mm-hmm. and just being all funny. And so we're trying to trace the roots of it and understand the importance that the cohesion of family, the cohesiveness of the family unit plays in the forming of, of the larger society. Wow. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's it. I think that's good. That's yeah. that's uh, one yeah. thing about me to all our ways, uh, yeah. he doesn't make so many films, but when he makes one, people people stand and, and they I'm watch. You, that's a whole idea. But when I, yeah, sorry, yeah, no, no, sorry, that that's just that's um, the whole essence of reputation. Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of people come forward and say, you know, I, I, no, don't do that. You know what I mean? Like, there's so much you can say about yourself, but what people say about you, mm-hmm. that's your reputation. Because when you're not there and you stand by what you are constantly. It becomes integrity, it becomes a reputation. You know what I mean, right? Yeah. There's some things I would say about myself on set and how I behave and all that, you know. People would say that they're, but the thing is, I know for a fact that I have a certain set of conduct that I adhere to when I'm working. And those things over the years have become a, a standard light. That when anyone, to, anyone talks about me, if you work with me, you know that this guy, you know, he do like this, he do like this, you know what I mean? That's it. So it's important to, as a human being to be constant, constant, you know, in your doing and in, the, in your doing good. Don't be constant in doing evil, you know what I mean? So mm-hmm. that's what he's just done. He's built a reputation for him. He doesn't do so much, but whenever he does one, people take attention. People pay attention. Amazing. That's it. Yeah. Wow, mm-hmm. wow. Amazing. It's, um, it's all about being consistent yes. in life yeah. um, and always doing good. Yeah. It's very, very important. Mm-hmm. And, and I always believe in this thing. When you know, when you know, you know, this is your passion, this is your drive, mm-hmm. you know, you, you pursue it, mm-hmm. you know, but you've got to be careful how you pursue your passion yeah, yeah. and dreams and vision. So, mm-hmm. thank you so much for, oh, for, for saying that again. Okay. So, you, obviously, you're doing that project. Mm-hmm. Uh, any other projects? Yeah, a couple of other projects as well. Um, yeah. I have a couple of movie projects um, that I'm going to do after that. Okay. Uh, so, um, I'm still around for some time. Okay. And, um, uh, that's it. So that's like um, like four projects at the moment. moment. Yeah. yeah, and uh, I'm sure that over time the portfolio will expand yes. because um, yes. you know I'm here for for that. I'm here to you know represent my brand and to that's also good. you know give the opportunities to other people who are trying to take advantage of the brand sure. to be able to jump on the bandwagon and sure. you know come calling. So sure. uh, we'll make the numbers available to them, let them know what's going on, so that they can call us for business. So, sure. Yeah. I mean. <coughs> The, the, the thing is that, um, Mr. Ademi Black, you, you, you've, been, you've not been here for like two years? Yeah, I've been here for Well, so guys, for two years, hmm, this man 
that you need you need blood okay it's not in the uk right it's here now so you if you're a script writer you go this you, you go your script written and just collecting dust just go and get it out you know um, your thing. yeah if you're a producer yeah. same thing if you're a director it is here it's in the uk right now it's not just london no that's all you can manchester nothing um belgium france he is in europe uk yeah. right so if you need him you know i mean you have you you know well, most people i'll say you my friends you know me you know my number if you don't know you know my facebook you know his facebook um if you have his contact he's in the uk right now and he's, he's doing a lot if you have any project let him know That's you true. know and we you talk business and you know just make it happen okay so now um we're going to be rounding up soon you know you said something earlier okay it's not like you said something about the film that you're making um it's about youth culture um the family union and all that stuff and uh, i i went to nigeria and i came back uh recently um visiting and i i every time you turn on the tv there's a young boy that has been killed yeah. And you know the funny thing is, yeah. a lot of Nigerians, yeah. are actually, some of them, are, a lot of Nigerians have been killed, yeah. and or some the of them... The ones that killed someone. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. What, what do you think about that? Well, I mean, it's, it's a loss of, it's a loss of self. Um, we we'll go back to the Bruce for now, the hmm. So when children are raised with no, with no particular grounding, no particular... Um, a resort to putting their roots in the earth and the father's busy with work the mother's busy with work and then the mindless are raising them the different cultures sipping into it there's a white culture they have the um, hispanic community they have the asian community everyone just you know going under the, the caribbean community as well children just absorb all those cultures and most of the time because people who don't have parental care and all that you know love they tend to look for it elsewhere. And they don't look for it in the right places because they're too young to understand the right places. Mm -hmm. So they look for it in people who understand them and don't judge them. Mm -hmm. And most of the time, those are people like them or people who want to take advantage of them. Okay. So it's something that spirals from there. So they get to be in the situations and at the end of the day, they start to, to encourage them to do things. Some start doing drugs because of the um, fact that some want a sense of belonging. They start falling into gangs. Um, and all that and so these things ultimately get to and once again there's no roots there's no self sense of self per se people get really angry easily over little things mm -hmm. you know what i mean right mm -hmm. sometimes it's daddy issues sometimes monthly issues you never can tell and one small thing happens bam murderer you know what i mean so it's really important for us to always remember that we have a culture, we have a place that we're coming from. And children who grew up in homes like that, most often than not, more often than not, turn out to be good. Because the mom is available, the dad is available, the emotional growth of the child is monitored and shorter. Yes, yes, yes. So at the time they grow up, they're more balanced. You know what I mean? As a human being, they're more balanced than someone who's just floundering and looking for. So I think that's what's happening. So I think we should start as much as possible. I don't know if they have any places where they teach you about and you know what I mean, right? Schools that should be established. And for Igbo communities and for Hausa communities like that, so that at the end of the day, as you don't grow up here, but they never forget. Like you say, Matthew Babu Mani she I would say that do not forget the song or child of whom you are. That's the truth. And that's why we say those things, because when they say, oh, but Mala Baja, his father was a righteous man, they say, don't spoil your father's name. So you build upon the legacy and you pass it to your child who builds upon the legacy because you never let them forget the past. Because without remembering the past, how can someone forge forward to make the future? So that's what I think. Yeah. Well, yeah, I think you said it all. Um, you said it all. I just, I just feel like the young people of today, and you know, sometimes I just look at them thinking, you know, you come over here, say, you know, your parents came over here to find, uh, to find a greener pasture, pasture for you. Yeah. And we all know this country, right? You work and work and work. And, work. and which means the children, if you're not careful, they can go <laughs> funny. They, they don't true. know what they're doing. Yeah, so exactly. we just have to find a way Parents need to be more involved. That's the truth. We can't be so 
hard working and invested in um, in finding a future when you're destroying the very future that you're struggling for. Doesn't make sense. So the children grow up yeah. and then they end up in jail, end up on the yeah. sidewalk, they have the drug yeah. they have a drug yeah. problem or what. So it's always about judging those parameters. If you come over here, okay, so husband is working, how are we gonna do it to balance up so the home is always secure? Or is it gonna be a case of okay, we're coming over here to work for about a certain certain amount of years and put the children there? But there should be a plan. Not just coming over here, dumping the children and expecting the streets to raise good children. Mm -hmm. Sometimes that happens. There may be a few lucky people who, because of the discipline of the children, just their own personal discipline, mm -hmm. or this um, involvement in religious activities or whatever may, may have been able to grow up in those situations and, and uh, thrived. Mm -hmm. But like you say, sometimes you just walk on the sidewalk and you see a rose growing there. Mm -hmm. It's not the only seed, the only pollen that's got there. There must be a lot of just one survives. So once in a while, we have that one that survives and grows. But what is the need sacrificing hundreds of thousands so that one can survive? Or we just put ourselves together, plan well, make healthy, wholesome families. You know what I mean, right? So that's uh, that's what I think. Wow. Yeah. Thank you so much. You know what? I'm just sitting. I'm here absorbing. Mm -hmm. I'm just mm -hmm. learning from you. The way, the way, you know, the way you're, you're talking. Um, uh, well, if you've had it, if you're a parent, you know, uh, dad, mom, pay attention to your children. Because he says something. You're working so hard, you know, to provide for these children. And then, at the same time, if you're not careful, you may be destroying the very thing you're working hard for. Because if you're working hard, you're paying the bills, but then your kids are getting involved in drugs, in night crime, and then they go to jail. So what have you worked out for? Mm. So let us try our best to you know, raise up these children in the way of the Lord. Mm. So when they grow up, they will never, never depart from it. And there was a session, uh, the next part was going to be the word of encouragement from you to the people watching, but you've said it, you've said it. So thank you very much people for watching. And I think uh, today, um, it's not just it's not just about entertainment. When I decided to do this to do this show, I, I had the idea for about four years now, and I prepared myself. And when the opportunity came um, uh, last week, was the first one. The opportunity came. All my preparation just fell into place. I'm I'm here. I'm interviewing uh, uh, Mr. Yemi Black here. And why am I saying this? If you know, right? Okay, don't let me say if you know. God created in us a uh, 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 vision. God gives us talents. What we need to do is to learn, you know, first of all, is to know our purpose and is to know what our talent is. Because when you know what your talent is, right, then you can go out there to pursue it. But then how do you pursue your talent? You know, a lot of people will tell you, oh, I want to go and get a job. Oh, I'm very good at taking pictures. Imagine, I'm very good at this. And then I go and go and work for a company. Yeah, I did work for somebody. But I have to I have to know, God, what is it? What is it? How, what am I supposed to be doing? And what did I do? I created my own opportunities. Because I knew nobody was going to help me. You know, when I started, I only had a small, tiny camera. I didn't even know that today I will be a celebrity photographer. But I went out with that small camera and I started to do something. And what am I telling you? You know, create your own opportunity. If nothing is happening for you, it's not the end of the world. Think, you know, I was discussing uh, something with uh, uh, my, one of my mothers, uh, you know, uh, and, and, you know, and she was saying that uh, somebody studied uh, 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 sports science and they don't have a job and now they're working in a warehouse and they're doing this, they're doing that. And I said to her, I said, you know what the problem is? That person needs to think outside the box. They need to think, okay, I have this degree. What can I do with this degree? Well, I'm not getting a job using what I studied. What else can I do? Don't let us just sit down thinking the government is going to come to help us, that, oh, God is going to help us. No. If you don't get up and do something, then God has nothing to work with. Just like Mr. Amy Black said, he started acting when he was in primary school. Okay? So, and he has been consistent. I have been consistent with this thing called camera. You know, so people, I just want to encourage you. Whatever it is that's in your heart that you want to do, today is the best time to start. If you don't know how to start, 
Go back on your knees to God. God will guide you. He will bring the right people around you. And believe me, you will never regret stepping out, you know, to pursue your vision and your goal. Thank you so much for watching. And, um, you know, I know that this thing is live now. You can come back to watch it, watch it again, to share it with your friends, your enemies. Yeah? And thank you so much, Mr. Yemi Pla. It's been a great honor um, being here. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah. And uh, I know that um, this being the first time that we're meeting is not going to be the last time. There's going to be lots of lots more of this. So it's been interesting hanging out with you guys. It's been really, really nice and entertaining. It's been a two-way street, you know, two-way flow. I've learned a lot from him as well, you know, regarding, you know, the, uh, never forgetting your little beginnings. Nice. And uh, here we are, both sharing our thoughts, but sharing our visions and uh, parlaying with you. So yeah, guys, thanks for the support over the years. Really appreciate it. Uh, thank you for making that little boy grow into this man now. And the truth of the matter is there's so much more room for growth for us. As long as we need, we learn and we grow. And so thank you for the support. And yes, trust me, I'll never disappoint you. There's a whole lot more coming. Watch out for this one we're doing. Watch out for the other ones that are coming. And watch out for the ones that are coming that even I don't know yet. Boom. He said, boom. I mean, I said, boom. <laughs> boom out. <laughs> boom out. I don't you. Now. Thank you so much. You, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we're still live now. So, yeah. so maybe while we're still live, mm. what do you think about this Brexit? This one, eh? You know, say my visa, you just give me. Never call it. Never. I beg, I beg, I beg. I beg you. What is Brexit, please? No, I don't know. Okay. No, I don't know. Don't know. Don't know. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys. <laughs> what is Brexit? That's go, people. Merit Abode Merit Abode Nigeria Limited Emirate Garden City Merit Abode Nigeria Limited Emirate Garden City Moses Dad, my wife told me that you have bought a land and complete a good looking duplex on it. Yes, from buying the plot to the completion only takes less than three months. What about Omonile? Omonile like how? I didn't deal with them. I bought the land from Merit Abode Nigeria Limited. Merit Abode? Yes, Merit Abode. Rachel Onega and Prince Jide Kosoko are the ambassador for Merit Abode and these two individuals boost my confidence and trust that make me to buy from them. And that is not all. They even helped me in building our new home. I only visit this site on completion to collect our keys and exchange paperwork, which amounts to more than double savings usually for people like us living abroad you have to take time off work so many times to travel back home to do the work or the yahoo contractors will show you big time yes i was wondering as i always see you every week let me tell you i was in nigeria for only four days and everything is can pay eqs i didn't lose money by not going to work Merit about is the best what about the cost of calling them every day they use uk number so you will not be running up the phone bill to call them i beg give me their details telephone 020 3865 or 081 734 47111. Email info at meritabode.com. Their website is www.meritabode.com. Meritabode Nigeria Limited is the developer for Emerald Garden City Estate Series. You can even pay by installments. Our locations are Shimawa, Ibejuleki, Arepo, Agbara, Ikorodu, Mowe of Father, and Ashishi. Merit Abode. Build my confidence and trust. Fancy TV Channel UK presents the third annual EPRA Leadership and Entrepreneurial Awards 2019, celebrating quality through leadership. On Friday, 27th September 2019, at Golden Palace Banqueting Suite, 35 Herbert Road, North London, N18 3HU. Time, red carpet and working, 5.30 p.m. Event starts at 7 p.m. Special guests of honour, Councillor Nessel Kaliskin, the leader, London Borough of Enfield. Her worship for the Mayor, Councillor Kate Anolwe, London Borough of Enfield. Her Worshipful, the Mayor, Councillor Dr. Caroline Stock, London Borough of Barnet. The Worshipful, the Mayor, Councillor Sheila Peacock, London Borough of Haringey. The Worshipful, the Mayor, Councillor Ernest Eziajigi, London Borough of Brent. The Royal Fathers of the Day, His Royal Majesty Oba Michael Adedokun Aremu Badibo IV. CFR, CIR, Abel Kuta, Ungun State, Nigeria. His Royal Majesty, Oba Babatunde, Ugunlaja, JP. Ekbe, Lagos State, Nigeria. His Royal Majesty, Oba Bankole, Ojutalayo. The Laroka of Waniki Kingdom. Ileife, Oshun State, Nigeria. His Royal Majesty, Oba Mureno, Adebayo, Adedini. The Ashoya of Ile Ishoya. 
Ife Kingdom, Oshun State, Nigeria. Chief Host Tayo Akobi, JP. Host Chief Mrs. Tony Jayajaramula and Miss Bola Abudu, JP. Live performing artists include Sir Bob Ejike, Jasmine Asamoa, Emeka Smith, Quinn Sophia, Deborah Ulutu Ulushoga, Delba Authentic, Platinum Performing Arts, Sean OK Demars, and many more. Tickets standard at £50, VIP at £100, VVIP at £200. For ticket bookings, visit Eventbrite at EPRA Awards 2019 or call 074 9199 For sponsorship, partnerships and brochure advertisements, email info at epraawards.com or call plus 447 074 Come to EPRA Awards 2019 for great relaxation and realisation of achievements. Ah, but the party, every day, every day, every day, every day, Eya ra lu London nje ti gbo pe ile ise Heritage TV tun ti gbe ara tuntun yo o gbugbu ariya yin patapata la o baba yin ko lungo re Jackie Jado gbugbu aye ka ma sayeye ni London ka si ma wo la America ni Nigeria ati kakakiri agbaye lesekese ati loju kan na bo je lori video tabi lori photograph to mole ye ke ye ke Heritage TV ni baba o gbugbu awon ayeye yin bi ojo ibe isiku agba igbeyawo ajodun ile ijosi yin Heritage Television ni ke ma bo tarata ilu London la wa United Kingdom la tedo si e kan si wa lori ero iba Soro ye zero two zero eight zero zero four six one zero zero Tabi Luria Rala Tagbawa Ayaye at heritage TV dot co dot UK at Luria Rala Beka zero seven three four one two three four five six zero Heritage TV Abaletu or Modela Wu.